this is an amazing recognition of what our colleagues do in terms of research, in terms of uh, managerial knowledge creation. I think it tells us that INSEAD is indeed at the forefront of uh, developing knowledge which is relevant and at the same time rigorous. Having seven professors in this list means that there are a lot of topics that they cover, but some of the major ones are related to strategy. Of course, many people know about the Blue Ocean Strategy, the concept that was created by Chang Kim and Renan Moborn. But also, in addition to this, we have uh, Laurence Capron, who is also in the strategy department working on M&As and whether you should build as a company your own capacity or you should buy, acquire another, another company. We have also a lot of research in leadership uh, and some of the best known names here are Hermini Ibarra on working identity and Hal Gregerson who asks the question what really makes a true innovator. At INSEAD we really emphasize both research and teaching excellence and our professors go in the classroom and they perform extremely well but at the same time our research requirements are world standard requirements. So what our professors have done is that they have learned how to do excellent research and how to take this research and translate it in a way which is understandable, which is interesting uh, and applicable for practitioners. INSEAD has a very important role to play in the world business because of the classroom that we have, because of the people that we have in our classroom. INSEAD is the most diverse business school in the world and as such we have people coming from all over the world. We have 84 nationalities. We're basically building leaders, we're building managers that go back to 171 countries. So the role of INSEAD is to promote growth, to promote business creation in so many countries and by doing this to fulfill its basic mission of creating growth and creating in improving social well-being. As we were thinking, what is the effect of digitalization of education, of the so-called MOOCs and uh, other forms of digitalization, we realized that what we do in the classroom is that we create a special space where people discuss and debate certain concepts and our contribution, our teaching, what we do in the classroom and the way that we, we change people is by having discussions, by having interaction and in the classroom the magic happens not when the professor just sits there and delivers a lecture but when people ask a question and then there is a debate and you hear very diverse views. Somebody from Nigeria asks the question and then another person from Brazil says, no, no, that's not the same way in Brazil. And you can enter a debate, a discussion, which is very, uh, is very different from if you have people from the same background. By doing this, we're teaching these leaders how to be more creative and more innovative. And that's, I think, that the wealth of our classroom. That Diversity then brings to life different viewpoints and with these different viewpoints people learn much faster and much better how to go back to their organizations and to manage and to lead better. Mm -hmm.